So, so good afternoon, grade seven. Um, so this will be the fourth and second to the last session na atin pong chang start to uh, mathematics ng grade seven. Okay, so for this week, we are focused on two topics, which is the ratio and proportion and also percentage rate and base. Okay po, so isa-isahin natin. Okay. So let's start with the ratio and proportion. Siguro ratio proportion natin, eh madalas na naman natin narinig. Okay, alam natin yung idea ng ratio and proportion, but sometimes hindi natin alam kung paano natin ididil ang pagsusolve ng ratio and proportion. So yun ang uh, gagawa natin paraan para may solve natin. So, balikan muna natin ang definition ng ratio and proportion. When we talk about ratio, it is a comparison of two numbers. So, alam natin, um, boys and girls, or number of boys and girls, lagi pong dalawa. Okay, ang ginagawa natin. We generally separate the two numbers in ratio of colon. Suppose we want the ratio in 8 and 12. So, we can write this as 8 is to 12 or in fraction as 8 over 12 and we say ratio uh, so, yun nga ang basa natin, 8 is to 12. Okay. So, it can be formed in ratio form or it can also be in form of a fraction. Pag sinabi naman natin proportion, it's an equ equation which is the ratio on this, each side. So, dalawang, dalawang ano po siya, dalawang ratio siya. And it is a statement that two ratios are equal. So, example natin, 3 fourth is to 6 eight is an example of proportion. When one of the four numbers in proportion is unknown, cross product and may be used to find the unknown. So ngayon, tutunduan natin, paano ba natin mahanap yung mga nawawalang uh, parte ng isang proportion? Okay. So paliwanag lang muna natin yung idea, there are two ways uh, in solving the proportion. There are two types of question. Um, ang unang type ng uh, question natin ay yung idea na may nawawala may nawawalang part sa proportion, it's either sa palaki tayo or sa paliit. Later ko papaliwanag yung late palaki at paliit. Or the other idea naman natin ay yung idea na hinahati-hati natin ang, ang whole into parts. Okay. So start tayo with the idea ng ratio na maaring a certain ratio, uh, proportion, a certain ratio is papalaki or sa paliit. So, paliwag natin. Example natin is 4 is to 20 is equals to 2 is to blank. Kung makapansin natin, sabi nga natin, ang proportion has two equation, uh, two ratio, one on each side. So, we have the first uh, ratio, which is 4 is to 10, and the other ratio on the other side of the equal sign, 2 is to blank. Kung makapansin natin, may nawawala. The idea here is, the question is, papalaki ba siya or papaliit? So, Ang, ang comparison natin dyan ay yung first term to first term and second term to second term. So technically, ano yung mga first term natin? The first term natin dyan ay yung ating pong 4 at saka 2. Okay? And our last term is to be 10 at saka po itong nawawalang ito, which is our question mark. So, so doon sa tandaan natin, in, in, a in a proportion, isa lang dapat na nawawala para malaman natin kung paano ba ang sistema nito. Doon sa idea ng first terms natin, which is 4 and 2, ano nangyari sa 4? Lumaki ba siya o lumiit? Grade 7. Lumaki ba siya o lumiit? Ano nangyari sa kanya? Naging to siya. Lumaki ba siya o lumiit? Lumiit. Lumiit. So, ibig sabihin, kung ito ay proportion at equal sila, kung ang, isang, ang first term natin ay lumiit, we are expecting the other part of the, of the ratio na liliit din. Dapat kung ano nangyari dun sa partner, mangyayari din sa partner. Okay? So, so yung 4 ay naging 2. So, expect natin yung 10. Dapat ang sagot natin dun sa blank, mas mababa sa 10. Kasi lumiit eh. So, paano natin mahanap siya? So, in this case, Pwede natin siyang isolve into the product of the extremes is equal to the product of the means. Ano ibig sabihin nun? So yung nasa labas natin, which is 4n at yung dulo, ay dapat equal dito sa dalawang ito. Sampo nang galing yung idea na yan. So that is 4 is to 10. Kung gagawin natin yung fraction, 
equals 2 is the blank. Sabi kanina, pwede raw natin isolve is yan. Uh, gawin na natin x ha as the missing number. Pwede na natin to isolve by cross multiplication. Kaya siya naging 10 times 2 equals 4 times x. Ganun din yon. So ito, since it, this is missing, this is x. So yung, yung nasa labas, which is our extremes, ay equal sa product ng means na nasa, nasa loob. So 4 times x ay equal sa nasa loob, which is 10 times 2. So pwede natin siyang iso. So etong by cross multiplication, inayos ka siya into fraction, 4 times x will still be 4x. And 10 times 2 equals? 20. 20. Diba? So, divide both sides by 4. So, 20 divided by 4. 5. 5. So, kung mapansin nyo, ibig sabihin, x equals to 5. So, ito ay magiging 5. So, erase na natin to. This will become 5. Tama ba yung, uh, tama ba yung idea natin na lumiit siya? Yes po, from 10, it becomes 5. Okay? So yun ang idea nun. It's either papaliit siya o palpalaki. Kung lumiit yung isang parte, dapat liliit din yung isang parte. Kung lumaki yung isang parte, lalaki yung isang parte. So minsan, hindi natin uh, basta na lang tayo sa masag minsan ng mga bata na sumasagot, hindi nakikita yung idea ng uh, ratio sa proportion. Kaya siya proportion, ibig sabihin, it's either palalakihin mo siya or paliliitin from the original. Okay, kaya naka-skill siya. So let's have another one. This is 3 is to 8. 3 is to 8 is to blank equals blank is to 24. So ang kukumpare natin dito ay ang ating mga first term. Ang first term ay 3 habang sa kabila naman ay wala. While our second term is 8 and it becomes 24. Ano nangyari? Lumaki o lumiit? Lumaki po. Lumaki. So, ina-expect natin yung 3, lalaki, liliit. Lalaki po. Lalaki din. So, yun ang idea nun. So, ina-expect natin na yung ilalagay natin sa blank ay mas malaki sa 3. At paano natin siya masosok? Gawin muna natin siyang fraction. So, this is 3 is to 8 equals x, I'll represent x as, as, as our missing term, equals 24. Then, cross-multiplication. Unahin muna natin yung may x. So, that's 8 times x is 8x. Ganun pa pag multiply pagtatabihin lang natin yung number at saka letter. While 3 times 24, what is 3 times 24? 72. 72. Then, divide. Both sides. So, x equals to 9. So, tama yung observation natin na from 3, lumaki siya. It becomes 9. Clear po tayo doon? Opo. So, yun po yung idea ng, ratio, ng proportion na scalable. Ibig sabihin, uh, it's either papaliit or papalaki. Let's have the other, uh, the other problem in proportion. The other problem in proportion is dividing a whole Dividing a whole into different parts. Ano ibig sabihin niyan? May binigay tayong ratio at yung whole, i-divide natin into part. Example, divide 20 in a ratio of 3 is to 1. Ibig sabihin, ang paghahati raw natin ay 3 is to 1 ang hatian ng 20. So paano natin, so, paano natin siya gagawin? So ibig sabihin, gagawa tayo ng proportion na 2 is to 1 2 is to 1 equals blank is to blank kung saan, ah, sorry, 3 is to 1 pala to. Erase ko to ha. 3 is to 1 to. This is 3 is to 1 na magiging proportion pero pag pinag-add natin, 20. Ang hahakiin kasi natin, 20. So paano natin isosolve yan? In order to solve for that, hanapin muna natin ilang pa, sa ilang parte ba natin siya technically hahatiin. Kung 3 is to 1, ilang parte yan? May tatlong parte at may isang parte. Ilan lahat parte yon? May ilang parte lahat yon. Kung may tatlo yung isa at may isa yung isa, 
May ilang parte? Grade 7. Ilang parte lahat yun? May isang tatlo at may isang isa. Ilang parte yun lahat? <laughs> Pakisarado paki po muna ng ating pong mga mic kung hindi po sasagot. Pasagot po, paki open ang mic and sabihin sa akin. So parang ano lang siya, 3 plus 1. What is 3 plus 1? 4 po. 4. Ibig sabihin, there are 4 parts. May apat na parte tayo. So all you have to do is to divide this 20 by 4. 20 divided by 4. 5. That's Five. Right. Na Narinig ko yun. So eh, ang bawat part, ibig sabihin yan, ang bawat part natin ay, na, ay binubuo ng lima. So ang gagawin natin in order to to complete our proportion, kung bawat part ay 5, ita times lang natin. 5 times 3 is 10. 15 po. At 5 times 1 5. So that's it. So that's it. Ano nangyari niyan? Nahagin na natin yung 15 in terms of 3 is to 1. Tingnan na natin. Kung titingnan natin yung 15 is to 5, kung ilolowest term natin ang 15 is to 5, 15 is to 5, pag nilowest nat term natin yan, 3 is to 1 yan. Nakuha po natin. So ang gagawin lang natin, ha alamin natin sa ilang parts natin siya hahatiin, hatiin natin yung given number, then i-multiply natin sa ating Ratio. Let's have another one. Then, divide 50 in a ratio of 7 is to 2 is to 1. So, ibig sabihin tatlong number yan. Ang ratio ng trawl niya ay 7 is to 2 is to 1. Ang hahatiin natin ay 50. So, ibig sabihin may tatlong, parte ta uh, may tatlong number tayong hinahanap. Ang question, ilang parte lang ba technically natin na hatiin? Kung may 7 is to 2 is to 1 tayo, may ilang parte ang pinag-uusapan natin? Ilang parts? 7 is to 2 is to 1. May pito, may dalawa, may isa. So ilan lahat yun? Grade 7. Ilan lahat parts yun? May 7, may 2 is to 1. I-add lang natin. Ilan lahat yan? 10. 10. That's correct. So, ibig sabihin, yung 50, i-divide natin by 10. What is 50 divided by 10? What is 50 divided by 10? 5. five. five. Ibig sabihin, isang part, isang part, ay ang bigat niya ay 5. So, ang gagawin lang natin, i-multiply natin dun sa uh, ratio nila. So, 7 times 5? 35. 35. That's correct. 2 times 5? 10. Then, 1 times 5? 5. 5. So, ibig sabihin, ang bago natin ratio, dinivide na natin yung 50. So, that will be 35 is to 10 is to 5. So, nasunod natin yung 7 is to 2 is to 1. Pero by the, by the idea 50, hinatin natin yung 50 sa ratio na 7 is to 2 is to 1. So, ang hatian natin is 35 is to 10 is to 5. Nakuha po paano ginagawa? I-add. I-add natin yung ratio. Bagos, i-divide natin yung number na gusto natin i-divide. Then multiply for each part of the ratio. Clear po tayo? Question? May question po ba tayo? Okay po. Maliwanag po ngayon ang ratio and proportion? Okay. Let's move to the next question, next topic. We have percentage, rate, at saka po base. Okay? Percentage, rate, and base. Ano ba yung percentage, rate, and base? So when we talk about rate, it is the number of 100 parts taken. 
This is the number followed by a percentage sign, a percent sign. So that is rate. Base naman is the whole number which the rate operates. And B and P is the part of the base determined by the rate. Okay po. So example natin, 5% of 40. In this case, 5% is our rate. Yung 40 na pag uh, nahahanapan natin ng 5% ang tinatawag natin base. At ang pinakasagot natin ay percentage, which is our 2. Okay? We have our formula, P equals R times B. Yan po ang tanda natin. Percentage is equals to rate times base. Tandaan po yan, ha? Percentage is equals to rate times base. So, yan lang kailangan natin sa uluhin in terms of pagsusolve natin ng pagsusolve natin ng nawawala alin man sa percentage, sa rate, at sa base. Kailangan lang natin sa uluhin ang, ang formula na yan. So, let's go with the first one. What is 50% of 20? What is 15% of 20? So, lagi po yan, P, percentage, rate, at base. Okay? Tandaan, ang, percenta ang, per ang percentage ay ang sagot na parte ng ating base at ang rate natin ang may percent sign. Ano dito ang 15%? Percentage, rate, or base? Palagay nyo. Ano ang percentage? Ang 15. Percentage, rate, or base? Percentage. Rate po. Rate. Tandaan natin, ulitin natin. Ang percentage ay parte ng mas malaking number. O, big sabihin, parte siya ng isang whole, ng isang, uh, isang parte siya, uh, sa, sa kanya manggagaling ang base. Okay po, na naka, naka base na nakabase sa ating rate. So, tandaan at ang rate natin ay may percent sign. Yun lagi po yung tandaan. Basta may percent sign or naka fraction, ibig sabihin po noon siya ay rate. Not all na fraction ha, pero lahat na may percent sign ay rate. So, in this case, 15% is our rate. The question na lang, ano ang 20? Ang 20 ba ang parte o ang pagmumula ng 15%? Kung parte siya ng whole, that will be percentage. Pero kung sa kanya kukuhanin yung 15%, siya ay base. Ano sa palagay nyo? Ang 20, percentage or base? Base po. That will be base. So, ibig sabihin, nawawala ang percentage natin. Okay? So, nawawala. So, paano natin sosolve to? Sabi nga natin, we have our general formula, percentage is equals to rate times base. Okay? Paano po natin isosolve ang may percent? Tandaan, ang may percent ay pwede natin siyang i-change into decimal. Kung saan, ang 15% ay ibig sabihin niya ay naka times 100 siya ng decimal. So kung i-change natin ng 15% into decimal, ang 15% nandito ang ating pong point, kasi whole number siya, a-adjust siya ng dalawang places papunta sa kaliwa. So that will equal to 0.15. Ibig sabihin, 0.15 siya. Okay? So that's us so. So, percentage is missing. P pa rin ay lalagay natin. Rate is 0.15. Ang taas ng point ko. Sorry, i-delete natin. I-delete natin muna yun. Ang taas ng point. 0.15 times our basis is 20. So, nituruan ko na kayo last time kung paano mag-multiply ng ating pong Percentage, so sabi natin, pag multiplication, hindi kailangang i-arrange. Okay po, ang decimal point. Pwede ba sa magkatapat, okay na yan. So let's multiply. 5 times 0? 0. 5 times 2? 10. 1 times 0? 0. 2 times 1? 2. 2. Then let's add... 0, 0, 3. Ilan decimal point ang meron tayo? 
decimal places. Dalawa. So this will be 3.00 or simply 3. So our percentage is 3. Tapos. Ito tayo. Okay po. Okay po tayo dyan. Let's have another one. What percent of 10 is 8? What percent of 10 is 8? Okay. P, R, B. May nawa, uh, una natin hanapin. Nandiyan ba si rate? Wala po. Wala. Kung wala ka nakikita ng percent, ibig sabihin nawawala na agad si rate. So this is questionable. Ang question na lang natin, sino si percent at sino si base? Can, sino ang pagkukunan? Si 10 or si 8? Sino ang nauna? 10, what percent of 10 is 8? Sino ang pagkukunan ng percentage? Si 10 ba or si 8? 10 po. Si 10. So ibig sabihin, si 10 ang ating base. At si 8 ang ating percentage. Okay? So balik tayo sa formula. P equals R times B. Percentage is, anong percentage natin? 8 po. 8. What is our rate? Rate is missing. Diba? Rate is missing. RB, what is RB? 10 po. 10. So, ibig sabihin, it can be written as 8 is equals to 10R. R times B is 10. 10 times R is 10R. So, divide by 10. Divide by 10. R is equals to 8 over 10, which can be which can be written into decimal. What is the decimal of 8 over 10? Diba? Sabi natin, kung i-change natin yan, i-divide natin, maglagay tayo na dalawang zero o hanggang tatlo, depende. So, 80 divided by 10, 8. Then that will be 80. Then natapos agad. So this is 0.8 or it can also be written as 0.80. Pero kung gusto natin i-change siya into to percent, kanina pumunta tayo ng dalawa pa kaliwa, i-change naman natin siya into dalawa pa kanan. So 1, 2, so magiging 80 percent naman siya. And then, percent to decimal dalawang andar papunta sa kaliwa. Pero kapag decimal to percentage dalawang andar papuntang kanan. Clear po? Maliwanag po? Last one. 6 is 25% of what number? 6 is 25% of what number? P or B. May nakita ka yung percent sign? Opo. So ano yon? 25. Saan ko ilalagay yung 25? Sa R sa B? That will be 25%. That's correct. 6 is what percent? Is 25% of what number? Ano si 6? Si Percentage or base? 6 is 25% of what number? 25% of what number? Parang ibig sabihin, pinakasagot na yung 6. So si, saan si 6? Base. That, that will be percentage. Si 6. Ang nawawala natin... Yung pinagkuha na ng 25% para lumabas si 6. Kasi tinan natin ha ang pagkasabi. 6 is 25% of what number? Ibig sabihin, nawawala yung number na kukuha na mo ng 25% para lumabas si 6. So, base ang nawawala. Nawawala ba si, si, si base? So, let us solve. P times P equals R times B. 
Okay. Percentage is 6. 6 equals 25%. Change nga natin ang 25% into decimal. What is 25% in decimal? What is 25% in decimal? Move natin ang dalawa. Papunta sa kaliwa. That will be 20. point point 25. 25. Okay po. Kaya adjust lang natin. From dito, which is whole number, adjust tayo ng dalawa, magiging point 0.25 times our base which is missing. Nawawala si, si base. Diba? So, 0. 0.25 times B is 0. 0.25 B. This is 6. So, divide both sides by 0. 0.25. Divide both sides by 0. 0.25. So, nat naturo ko na yun ka last time. Ang pag-divide. So, 0. 0.25 divide by 6. Ah, no. 6 divided by 0. 0.25. Kung ang divisor natin ay may decimal, mag adjust tayo ng ilang places. 0. 0.25. Ilang places ang i-adjust natin? Dalawa. Dalawa. One, two. So, para maging 25 siya. So, itong 6, mag adjust din tayo ng dalawang places. 1, 2. So, ibig sabihin, magiging 600 siya. Say? So, 25 divided by 600. So, let's start with 60. May ilan 25 sa 60? May ilan 25 sa 60? Dalawa. Dalawa. That's correct. That would be 50. Diba? 50. So, minus. 60 minus 50? 10. 10. 10 bring down 0. May ilang 25 sa 100? 4. 4. That's correct. So that will be 100. So X. So our final answer is 24. Okay. So ibig sabihin, in dealing with percentage rate and base, tandaan natin na ang percentage ay ang pinakaparte ng isang mas malaki o mas maliit na number depende kung saan um, kung baga kung may rate tayo which is our percentage may kukunin tayong parte sa isang number yung isang number na pagkukunan natin ang tawag natin duet base at ang magiging result ay ang percentage okay and we are we, we always use our formula P is equals to RB which is percentage equals rate times base. Basta nandun kayo sa formula ng yon, hindi na po kayo malilig maliligaw sa pagsusolve ng ating pong percentage rate at base. Yun lang po ang kailangan natin tanggap uh, uh, sa uluhin. Okay? With that, ano po yung dapat sagutin natin? Okay? You can start answering this, which is our um, module Number 12, ratio, ratio and proportion, which is tinuro ko na dito, dapat, sabi ko nga dapat, in order to know that this is a ratio or proportion, dapat ay equal. Kung gagawin natin siyang fraction, dapat equal. Kapag nag-cross nag multiplication tayo, dapat equal yung pag, pag multiply natin yung pa-cross natin. Pag hindi sila equal, hindi sila proportion. Ituro ko na rin po kung paano ito iso. Ito yung uh, hahati-hatiin natin. Kung saan hahanapin natin ko ilang parts. And then this is no, nawawalang parte. Okay, kagawin lang natin parts. And then we have our uh, word problems. Then we have the percentage rate in base. Okay, so ito, iti-change lang muna natin to decimal. Tandaan, kapag percentage to decimal, dalawang andar papuntang kaliwa. Pero pag i-change naman natin into um, uh, into percentage, i-andar natin papuntang kanan ng dalawa rin. Then we have to solve for the following po, kung ano po ang tinatanong. 
Okay, so we have modules 13 and 12. Okay, so thank you very much for attending. Paka-open naman po ng camera for our attendance. Okay po. So salamat po sa pag-attend. Picture lang tayo. Pakita naman po ang mukha. Okay po. So one, two, three, smile. Thank you very much. Okay po. Bye-bye po. Thank you. Bye-bye po.